Well, I, I, I agree. And I, I think John does a great job of just isolating his people and, and kind of picking our weak spots, their strong spots. He did a great job of that all night. And uh, at the end, I felt we, we played great team defense. It, it wasn't they were they were isolating us, getting us into one-on-one -on -one situations. And at the end, we let them do it. Not me. Our guys just started helping each other, started double teaming. You know, so we didn't get in those one-on-one -on -one situations. I thought that made a big difference down the stretch. What's it say about the big five that you got guys stepping up like Dominic? You got like Steve Weingarten from Sal, Sam Mills. These guys, like it's not you know Galindo and Eric Murray are carrying them. And, you know, all these different guys are hitting big shots. Such a big game. Well, I think these games, um, these games create so much emotion in, in everyone that um, when you're on the bench in these games. You're not relaxed. You're, kind of, you're sweating. You're into so when you come off the bench, you're ready to go. I really think these games are that way. It, it's uh, it's just it's really unique. It's, it's, it's Big East games are intense. I'm not saying this is more or less. It's just different. And when you, when you come off the bench in these games, you kind of you feel like there's something magical going on. I, I really believe that. Okay, so okay, was, was there a concern that Malik would not play? Him? Yeah, he he didn't. He wasn't. We had to uh, determine whether that. If, 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 if the pain in his head was from the, the big bump he had or if it was a headache. He, he wasn't really great at describing that. So we we sided on the uh, on the side of caution. And it turns out he's got a big big lump and then that hurts, you know. But he didn't have a headache in front of his head. We were worried about the concussion of it. So he didn't practice till yesterday and kind of easy than yesterday. Jason, with the last five minutes or so. What did you say about the team's resiliency to be able to come back and, and take the game? I'm, you know, I'm proud of that, yeah. and, and, uh, and, and this team needed to do that together. Um, you know, we got Scotty Reynolds, you know, and Reggie Redding. You know, Reggie, everybody knows Scotty made a lot of big plays for us, and but you know, there was a play in Madison Square Garden. Reggie Redding took the ball at the end of the game, and made a pass to Dwayne Anderson to win the game against Marquette. Reggie Redding made a lot of big plays for us in the end over his career. So this team had kind of been used to that. And, and you know, it's Fish's turn, and it's uh, Stokes and, and uh, Antonio's turn, and they had to do it. you got to do it so your teammates respect you. And I thought Fish, Fish was just outstanding today. Stokes hit a huge three, made big defensive steals. So now those guys are starting to earn respect within our, within our family. Jason, some of your colleagues in the Big East and some of the other major companies in the country wouldn't take a game like this in a small gym, be it the Big Five or not. What does it mean? for your program that you're willing to play games like this? Well, one of the things we try to say about our program is we don't try to be like you know, Duke or North Carolina or anybody or anybody. We just try to be the best Villanova we can be. And one of the unique things about Villanova is you get to play in the Big Five. And it's a, it's a positive. I mean, come on. Everybody sees it. You're, not, you're going to go play. Where are we going to play? Name Pitt? You're not going to be any crazier than that. And it, it, it's not going to mean more to Pitt than it means more to LaSalle. So we look at that as a positive, and we say, like last year, you know, the Temple game, we, we were riding high, that, they beat us, and, and that kind of woke up.